Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It's a word. All day, I could hear the spirit telling me, pick up the pieces, pick up the pieces. And you know, a lot of us, our lives are going in multiple directions. There are some people that can be here today with us and there's a threat that they won't be here tomorrow. Some of us, we're blessed with the word of the most high, be it a lot or a little. When I kept getting the word from the spirit, pick up the pieces. It put me in mind when Yeshua fed 5,000 men not to mention all the women and children, it looked like there wasn't enough food to feed them. In the eyes of the apostles, it looked like an impossibility. And even after he broke the five loaves and the two fishes and did a miracle, when everybody was ready to go, Yeshua HaMashiach said, pick up the pieces, pick up the pieces. There was 12 baskets full. A lot of us in our lives, things can look scattered, things can be changing, things can look impossible. Even though everything that we have dealt with can be truly a miracle when we give our testimony as to how we got where we are and how we're still going and in our right minds with all the changes. <clears throat> but sometimes we need to pick up the pieces because what we find is that we have an ongoing abundance of miracles inside of us not only to keep us going, but that can feed far more than we ever thought possible. When you think about those 12 baskets, it makes me think about the 12 tribes. Any word from the eternal realm of the Most High, any word spoken like the bread or the fish given, is so powerful to the receiver that you don't know what you can do with what you have when you pick up the pieces. It is a word of encouragement. It is a word of truth. Pick up the pieces. There's a blessing right before your very eyes. And those 12 baskets I liken those 12 baskets to the 12 tribes of Yashorel. All of that anointing inside of you, all of that knowledge, all of that experience, all of that blessing, to give away some of that bread out of the basket that you hold, that we hold when you pick up the pieces. Five loaves and two fishes fed over 5,000. And there was so much abundance that when they had to pick up the pieces, when they took the time to gather what was left, you got 12 baskets of blessings, 12 tribes, 12 tribes filled with the anointed blessing of the Most High. We are watching these times change, beloved. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are watching the curse in reverse. We are hearing news where kingdoms once so powerful that the world sat back and took note are under threat, not of man, but we're watching the curse in reverse going at the foundation going at the walls, going at the ceiling, going at the new one, supposed to come in before they get there where their house is tumbling down. We are looking at the curse in reverse. You know, you got kings and princesses. Like, it made me think of the house of Pharaoh. 
many of those same said people whose lineage is part of the destruction, the oppression of Yasharel are now looking at their own destruction. The curse is in reverse and that curse is moving. But you see, when you pick up the pieces, the, the knowledge and that word, when you share it, when you give it, when those epiphanies come, you pick up the pieces and share the blessing of what Yah is doing and it's happening right before our very eyes. And let me say this, with that curse in reverse, we can't pick and choose. We can't say, oh, that's mean if you think this. No, it's a curse in reverse. And just like when the curse was upon Yasharel, it had no discrimination. It took them from the highest to the lowest and everything in between. I'm quite sure when we were taken into captivity, when that destruction was upon us, one of the things that rattled the foundations was the fact that the heads, they were going at the heads to send the body into disarray. That's what we're seeing now, beloved. It's going at the heads. It's, it's running all up in the house. And as we pick up the pieces, that revelation knowledge, that discernment will come upon you. And when you share it, others will recognize it too. It is a word of confirmation. It is a word of encouragement. But most of all, beloved, it is a word, shalom.